Hi, this is Kanna Babu. In the last class, we have discussed about how to auto generate the service number. In this video, we will see how to add the bus. Right. So, here this is our project. So, admin will log in with his username and password, and admin can add the bus details. And as we discussed in the last session, that I want to auto generate the service number. If the service number is SV underscore 2, and from place is something like Hyderabad. And two places, Vizac. Capacity of the bus is 46. Departure time, here you can do 6 uh, um, p.m. And arrival time, I will give something like 5 a.m. Is it clear? And the travel agency name, I will give something like SVR Travels. And the bus type is AC. Click on Add Bus. Whenever you click on Add Bus, it has to insert the record in the table. In our SQL server, here we are having one database called Travel Biz Project. Travel Project. There we are having a table called Bus. So I want to insert the records in this particular table. So initially, I want to create a stored procedure to make the things faster. Here I am writing the stored procedure is already available. I will try to copy this code. Is it clear? So here you can see create procedure, procedure name PROC underscore add bus and at the time of creating the procedure I am passing the parameters. So here you see the columns, the here uh, there are nearly 8 columns are there, so I declared 8 parameters at the rate SC number, at the rate from place, at the rate to place, at the rate capacity, at the rate arrival time, at the rate departure time and at the rate travel agency name, uh, at the rate bus type. So here at the time of creating the procedure, we need to follow the rules that the data type of the column and the data type of the parameter both must be same. So here within that procedure, I have written one insert query, insert into table name values of here at the rate SV number, at the rate from place, to place, capacity, arrival time, departure time, travel agency name, bus type. The number of the time, the procedure will get executed when we call it. So what is a stored procedure? Stored procedure is a set of pre-compiled SQL statements which will get executed when we call it. At the time of declaring the procedure, we have to declare the parameters and at the time of executing the procedure, we have to pass the values. The number of values that we pass must match with the number of parameters. The order of values that we pass must match with the order of parameters. The type of values that we pass must match with the type of parameters. So select the procedure, press F5. Command completed successfully. So now here I will try to open my Visual Studio Editor and uh, within this I will try to go to the adbus.aspx.cs If you want to see the design, here you can see adbus.aspx And this is my adbus screen, when user clicks on the adbus button it has to insert the record in the table As we are developing the application 3 tier architecture we need to write the database code in data access layer. So here you can go to the solution explorer. And uh, within the solution explorer, here you can see data access layer. Open data access layer dot cs. And here already we have written one method initially for auto generate service number. Close the region. What is the advantage of regions? Means regions are generally used for better readability of the program. For example, in future we will write some uh, hundreds of methods but it is difficult for the programmer to read the um, to identify the method in that case we are using the regions regions are similar like comments the syntax for declaring the region is hash region region name the name I will give as add bus method and here with and uh, close the region so here you say when you keep the cursor here you can automatically see the code that was written within that particular region just there for better read so regions are generally used for better readability of the program. So I will try to paste the code here to make the things faster. So here you say. Here I declared one method. The name of the name of the method is uh, add bus and the written type of the method is int. And here I am passing the input parameters business objects. So here I will try to declare the namespace using business objects. Before adding the namespace, first of all go to the solution explorer. There you can see data access layer. Under data access layer references. Actually, we are using the business objects in all the layers, presentation layer, uh, data access layer, business logic layer, every layer we are trying to use. As we discussed earlier that business objects concern the properties, properties are generally used to transfer the values between the classes. So before consuming that uh, 
class you need to add the reference so select add reference go to the projects check the business objects click on ok then automatically business objects is added uh, under the references and here I will try to declare the namespace using business objects is it clear so here also I will try to pass the parameters for this method here you see business objects dot business objects this is namespace name and this is class name and this is object name obj bivo throughout the project the so here initially we need to go to the business objects here you see under solution explorer go to the business objects and here we need to declare the properties i declare the properties for service number from place to place capacity arrival time departure time travel agency name and bus type here you need to concentrate that how many columns are there here in the table we need to declare those many properties right so after declaring the properties build the solution now go to the data access layer and within the data access layer here you can see you can access the property by using object name dot property name right obj dot here you see here i declare the properties here you see within the add bus method i declared one method under data access layer the name of the method is add bus the return type of the method is int so here i am creating the connection then open the connection and then pass the procedure name and then mention that we are working with stored procedure and set the values for the parameters these all are the parameters name at the rate sv number at the rate from place at the rate to place is it clear nearly eight parameters are there so here i already set the values for the parameters is it clear and then execute non query execute non query method return type of this method is what int generally we will use execute non query method to perform dml operations like insert update and delete and uh, if the record is inserted successfully this execute non query method will return one if you are passing two queries if these two queries are executed successfully it will return two so the result of that method i will storing in where i if the record is inserted successfully it will return one so i want to send that one to the business logic layer so here you go build build the solution so here somewhere we didn't close the bracket so here i will try to close it i hope you understood right as you already declared the connection in where web.config file again no need to declare the connection that is the main advantage once when we declare the connection string in web.config file you can access the connection string throughout your project and this is my region see now in data access layer two methods are there one is auto generate service number other one is add bus now go to the business logic layer and within the business logic layer i need to write one more method because business logic layer will interact with what data access layer in business logic layer already we have auto generate service number here also i will write one more region hash region the name of the region i'll give as add bus at any cost in three tier business logic layer will interact with what data access layer data access layer will interact with database and here to make the things faster i'll directly write the <coughs> code and here i will declare one method public int add bus and uh, for this in this method i will try to call the add bus method is it clear in business logic layer also i want to use what business objects business objects dot business objects obj bivo is it clear so in order to call the data access layer i already created the object for data access layer obj dal dot add bus at the time of calling the method we are passing the values if the record is inserted successfully it will return what one the result of that one will be stored in where i and i will send this value to the presentation layer now build the solution now go to your solution explorer and here you open the presentation layer and within the presentation layer here you have adbus.aspx and here we need to double click on the button and write the code double click on adbus button and here you can write the code so here i need to create an object for what first of all i have to set the values for the business objects so business objects dot business objects obj bo is equals to new business objects of now how to call the properties obj bo dot service number is equals to where i am entering the service number text box one txt sv number dot text similarly obj bo dot uh, from place is equals to txt f place dot text similarly obj bo dot to place is equals to txt to place dot text similarly obj bivo dot capacity is equals to 
txt capacity dot text already we have given the ids for the text boxes similarly obj bo dot uh, departure time is equals to txt the time dot text similarly obj bo dot uh, um, arrival time is equals to txt arrival time dot text similarly obj bo dot uh, bus type bus type is equals to T ddl drop down list right so ddl bus type dot uh, selected item dot text i'll try to give i hope you understood right but here the capacity i think the written type is in the, the data type is int so i have to convert the string to int so int dot pass of txt capacity dot text and now i will try to create an object for business log and similarly here i will try to set the value for the travel agency name and now i am trying to uh, create an object for business logic layer and calling the method because here in presentation layer will interact with business logic layer and business logic layer will interact with data access layer and data access layer will interact with database if the, and the, this add bus method is returning the uh, the return type of this add bus method is int so the result i am storing in i if the record is inserted successfully i want to display bus is added else fail i'll try to press sub5 and check the output here admin will log in with his username and password click on login and admin will add the bus details so here i will try to give the bus details uh, let us see here and now i will try to click on add bus now here button one underscore click was fired now to see the flow of execution press f11 the values are set service number from place to place here you see from place hyderabad to place visa capacity 40 departure time arrival time travel agency name bus type and now presentation layer is interacting with business logic layer so add bus method in business logic layer will be called and now business logic layer is interacting with data access layer so add bus in data access layer will be called and here create the connection pass the open the connection pass the procedure mention that we are working with stored procedure set the values for the parameters and then execute the query if the query is executed successfully it will return one and that one will send to what uh, business logic layer and your business logic layer will send that uh, one to presentation layer at any cost we are not violating the rule of three type so the bus is added successfully here you see you got one message go and check in the database uh, go to bus table and press f5 and at the same time in our project after adding the bus successfully i want to clear all the text boxes and i want to automatically generate the service number so here within the adbus.aspx.cs if the record is inserted successfully i want to clear all the text boxes and i want to again auto generate the service number so whatever the code i have written in page load i will try to again call this method auto generate service number again no need to create object for business logic layer here because already we created in this method is it clear now once press f5 and check the output so you see now the service number is sv underscore 3 with the bus i added some bus details from hyderabad to bangalore click on add bus here you see now kept the breakpoint press f11 f11 now business logic layer is interacting with what data access layer now the record is inserted successfully after inserting the record it is clearing all the text boxes and again auto generating the id and displaying in the text box is it clear now here you press f5 and check the output so after inserting the record the id is auto generated to the next number and it is clearing all the text boxes i hope you understood um, for more uh, videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel and you can log into my facebook group and in the next video we will discuss about the other module thank you have a nice day